Hey guys, I want to do a video about how you can unpack Alembics really efficiently. And as a reference, I have set up a few alternatives here. So first here is just loading an Alembic as delayed load primitives. I have one here when I am unpacking the Alembics on the node. And then I have one where I put the unpack after the node. And then I would just do one where I cache it and then I play uh, the cache and I'll take all these and I will write through a performance monitor like this and then I'm just gonna play through it and see how long it takes to play through the timeline one time but before we measure all this up let me show you the method I want to present here if I copy this Alembic here this Alembic node and I'm just gonna unpack it I'm going to put on a time shift and I'm going to set this to F start. So now effectively by doing this, it's just going to unpack it on one frame and then it's just going to stay like that in memory. But yeah, of course we want to have the animation. So I'm going to copy this Alembic node and then I'm going to go in and instead of load as Alembic delayed load primitives, I'm going to load it as a point cloud and then I'm going to do attribute copy and I get this so and I'm just going to copy over the points and uh, here you have a very quick way of playing this Alembic and here you can see a diagram how quickly the different methods takes. So the interesting thing with this method is actually like way faster than just load an Alembic as delayed load primitive. And, and I also found it interesting that it actually takes longer to unpack it on the Alembic nodes instead of after it. So anyway, I just think this is a really interesting way. I, I guess like one problem might be that it doesn't actually update the normals when you do it this way. But even if you put a normal node after, it's, uh, it's still pretty quick. Anyway, just thought that it was interesting. I hope you found this useful. And see you in a future video.